Is a volume pedal essential to play ambient guitar or can you just use your volume knob on your guitar? This is what we will explore in today's video. Because in essence, a volume pedal and the volume knob are going to do the same thing, right? So if the volume knob on my guitar is at zero, that's gonna mute my guitar. If I put it at 10, I get full volume. If I want to swell the volume and ramp it up slowly, I can do it with the volume knob and the volume pedal is going to do the same thing. If I put it back up like this, it's going to mute the sound. If I put it all the way down, I have full sound and if I want to swell the sound, I can do it gradually too. So as far as functions, you can do exactly the same thing with both and it's really important for ambient guitar because volume swells are the essence of ambient guitar you just put on a delay pedal and maybe some reverb and this is the main sound of ambient guitar play Right, I cannot talk about ambient guitar without talking about volume swells. But then why should you get a volume pedal if you can do it with your volume knob? Many reasons. The only pro that I see from using your volume knob is actually your budget. It doesn't cost anything. It's already integrated into your guitar. So if you have a small budget of a couple hundred dollars, I would rather buy a delay in a reverb pedal uh, instead of a volume pedal first because at least you have a solution where you can do it with your volume knob but that's quite the only thing I see everything it's just better with a volume pedal first of all I find that it's kind of awkward to do two things at the same time on your guitar so most uh, guitar players are gonna play their chords or their notes and they're gonna keep their pinky on the volume knob of the guitar to swell it or to, to stay close to it, right? But the thing is that I find that it's harder to get exactly the sweep that you want with the volume knob. So if I want a super gradual sweep that it's going to stay consistent from beginning to end, most of the times I'm gonna either, either be too abrupt like this, or I'm gonna miss the meat, I'm gonna miss most of the sustain if I wanna go too slow. Right, that sounds weak. And if I go too fast, it's like instead of, you know what I mean? But with the volume pedal, I find it much easier to go gradually and to get the meat of it, to get most of the sustain as soon as I play. It's not too bad when you're playing a full chord and you're swelling really, really slow, but if you wanna play some little bursts, like something like... Uh, right, if I play like a big chord, now I'm gonna put uh, another delay and reverb. Let's say I play a big chord like this. Little bursts like these, if I want to do it with my volume knob, that's going to be hard. Like I have to do too much like this back and forth and it's going to sound like... I can miss the strings, uh, it can sound all over the place, so it's much better when you have a volume pedal. In the same way that you don't want to multitask too much with your same hand or feet, uh, on drums, right? I'm not gonna play a punch on the snare and then the bass drum with my hand, like, poof, ka, poof, ka, poof. you know, it just doesn't make sense. So it's the same thing on guitar, right? You don't wanna multitask and do things with the same hand, so it just frees up your feet right here. Another thing is that uh, I find personally that I have to clean my pots on my guitar more frequently than I have to clean my volume pedal. My volume pedal stays pretty clean. 
all the time uh, and I don't get the freak like this but uh, now my guitar has been to the luthier just a month ago so it's still clean but after a few months by of using my volume pedal uh, my volume knob sorry frequently uh, it's gonna get dirty and you have to clean it more often so uh, that's why I prefer the volume pedal too and another thing is that uh, with a volume knob you can't experiment with the placement by default it's the first thing in your chain right you cannot just tear it off and uh, put it anywhere else in your chain it's the first on your guitar with a volume pedal you can place it anywhere you want in your chain if you want to experiment placing it before or after your delays or reverbs to get different effects you can do that with your volume pedal which you can undo with your volume knob. So, so many reasons for wanting a volume pedal. So as soon as you can afford it, just go with it, get a good one. It's gonna be great in your ambient guitar setup. So what I like to do is simply choose a ping pong delay so that it g bounces from left to right. If you're playing in stereo, it sounds super wide for your ambient guitar volume swells. It sounds like this from left to right. Then put on a little reverb to wash this down and it uh, creates beautiful and wide volume swells. Super cool, so you should try it and you should get a volume pedal if you wanna play ambient guitar. And talking about the basics of ambient guitar, if you're just getting started and you wanna learn how to create sounds like these swells and ambient guitar effects and create your own songs, I have a free mini course on my website. It's called A Beginner's Guide to Ambient Guitar. I'm showing you how to craft your sounds, or how to organize your ideas and make your first uh, simple ambient guitar songs and write your own songs. So if you would want that, it's the first link in the description box. It's about 45 minutes of video lessons entirely for free. It's my gift to you for watching my videos. So thanks for watching and until next time, au revoir.